If you struggle with the same problems, listen up because we're gonna get this right. This 2020, we are getting our shit together. Hi, my name is Liana and today I'm gonna share with you guys some tips on how we can all stop spiraling and slowly conquer our anxieties and fears. Now we all know what's going on in the world, obviously um, there's a lot of things that could cause people anxiety right now and I'm not pardoned from that either. So I hope you know that you're not alone, it's okay, we got this. The past week had definitely not been easy for a lot of Singaporeans and people around the world. Um, I found myself a lot more anxious than usual. Usually when we get anxious, we tend to blank out and the task that we're doing seems a lot more impossible or simply harder to manage. But luckily for me, I've had practice going through tons of anxious moments in the past and i figured out a way for me to calm down a lot faster. It's not immediate but it's definitely a lot better than before and these are my tips. Step 1. Shift your attention. Now we all know wherever you put your focus and energy into, that's where energy will flow and that's what you would focus more of. It's a very simple logic like the yellow car analogy whereby if you focus on a single colour, um, you tend to observe more of it in your surroundings. Same with negative thoughts. If you decide to focus on the negative things that are happening in the world, around you, yada yada, your brain will be like, yes, here's more of it. There you go. We do not want that. We don't want to fall into that rabbit hole. And so first thing you do is to breathe and let yourself go silent. What is something positive that you can find around you right now? And that's a lot. At this point, we're trying to build a different kind of momentum. Previously, it was negative spiraling. Right now, we're pulling it back into another direction. Positive momentum. Perhaps you are in an air-conditioned room and we are so lucky. So just say, thank you for placing me in this position. I'm grateful to be in the comfort of my own home right now. Thank you for, while well, you're watching me, so you must have Wi-Fi. Thank you for this Wi-Fi that is bringing me to the internet, that is bringing me to this video right now, that is taking my anxieties off me and slowly helping me conquer my fears. See, these are all things that we can be happy about. Just give yourself time to let your nerves be soothed, be okay with this feeling right now. Calm down. And this could take minutes, it could take hours to finally calm down, even, or it could even take days. It really depends on what kind of situation that you're in. You're the only one who can decide how long you want this to last. Step number two, figure out what's this feeling. What's bothering you? What is this thing that is making you so irritated and anxious? Mine was that I had to understand something that was very complex to me. Uh, at that point in time so that I could take action and do something else. I was so caught up in the fear that I did not understand that concept. Our fears are always what's stopping us and once you find out what that particular thing is, you can slowly start to unwind it and break out of it. You will find that your fear is either number one, not as scary as you thought, or number two, something that you will have to get over anyway and if you're not trying to get over your fear i don't know what you're on this video for step number three taking action if based off of step number two you can already rationalize your fear then that's great problem solved but if you're like me and you couldn't at a point in time then that's okay just ask yourself what's the next small step that you can take tiny step Mine was reading through some materials so that I could understand what was going on and then finally take the action to finish the task. So find out whatever that is for you, that small tiny step and just do that one leap. Tiny leap. Release the pressure off your back. It's okay. Right now, we are living in a world where by the world-class scientists don't even have an answer or a cure to whatever that's happening out there. Everyone is just trying to figure things out. We're just, we're just facing our fears and devils on different levels. Dude, they're right. It's the Step number four, continuously take 
I personally have gotten through my fears in two days. I was freaking out, I went through these steps with the help of many people actually, and then I figured everything out, I didn't just complete it for myself, but I also helped my family members complete that particular task. And it actually got easier as I went along, it always does. I want to add a couple more tips to help us get through these times. Number one, I feel that honestly, don't compulsively read the news. Don't keep track of all the cases, all the bad stuff, yada yada. Keep yourself informed, that's for sure. But keeping track of things, keeping track of all these negative things and letting your momentum for that grow even stronger, that's not great bro. It's not really not great for you. If you understand the law of attraction, it's not great for the entire situation as a whole. Number two, use this time to find out what really makes you happy again. And it's something that's really simple. You probably would have done it when you were much younger. And for me, that is singing. I love to sing. And my go-to is literally high school musical tracks. Anything that's like nostalgic at a period of time. And it just brings me to a really happy place. I don't know why I don't do more of it. Use this time, figure what, figure out what that is and do more of it. Number three, ask for help. Oh, as much as there are bad things and people happening in the world, there are also a lot of good people. For my situation, I actually went onto a Facebook support group and I DM'd this woman that was a complete stranger. Hey, I'm having difficulties with this. Would you have some time to help me out with this situation? She totally did. There was no hesitation whatsoever. In fact, she gave me so much more information than what I was originally asking for. There are good people in the world. Just ask. The light and the guidance will come to you if you're willing to ask for help. I hope this video helps you in some kind of way and definitely leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. Tell me also if you decide to try it. You can also share it to help many other people who you do not even know um, are feeling really anxious during these times. That is the whole purpose of this video but if you don't like this video, also give me a thumbs down and then tell me what is it that you think that I could have done better and I'll implement those things in the next video. That's it from me. My name is Leona and I'm reviving this channel so I hope to see you in my next upload.